Do you know how old I was when I was a son of my bi dad biker? I was naught, and it was 1975. And my dad was the leader of a motorbike club. And there was loads and loads of bikers around. And I was his son. And I felt very lucky that there was thousands and thousands of bikers around me as a child. But when I got older, there wasn't so many things going on. So I am last of the biker children of, the, of that era, 1975. And now it is 2018. And there is one of the last punks alive. One of the last punks from the old school. His name is Uncle Dean. And he is one of the old school punks. And I am going to ask him a question. And he's going to give me an answer. And he's going to say to me what I do do is what I do do. And why I do what I do, he does what he does. But we keep going around each other. And we keep getting our tongues tied. And we're thinking, is this an old school or a new school? Or are we doing what we don't do? But what we're really doing, ladies and gentlemen, is moving around without moving and we are traveling without moving and we are last of the old school and we are the new school and the old school what you don't do people and his name is uncle dean and are you ready a one a two and I open your mind it is time for the uncle dean hello uncle dean how are you last of the old school punks how are you doing well slog at vision well. <laughs> i'm in good company and I'm having a nice, relaxing chat with my friend. And um, I'm not stuck, stuck with the, the punk thing. Like I said, I walked away from that when I was 18 because they were narrow-minded because I was listening to um, all styles of rock and roll music. The Beatles, Rockabilly, Psychabilly, Gothic. Yes. And they couldn't accept that. And punk was all about doing what you want to do as long as you're not harming anyone else. And that, you know, it's all about being open-minded. But you're like one of the last old-school punks today because you put your post up every day. Hi, punk Uncle Dean, do 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 So you're definitely talking like they used to talk. And that is a rare thing to have these days because no one today is talking like you used to talk. Well, I'm, I'm just me. I'm, I'm honest. Exactly. With people, um, I don't mess people about. Um, I feel bad if I let someone down. If I promise them I'm going to do something and I fail, I feel bad and I apologise because usually I'm a man of my word and I like to live by that and be as honest and straight with people as possible. You certainly do, Uncle Dean. And this is why I've made this film last of the old school punks because... I look at you as one of the last of the old school punks because modern punks, they are great and, and so are you, but you talk about it in everyday texts. You're always talking about the punk era like it, like it used to be spoke about. I mean, if you look around your room, it's just got punk written all over it, isn't it? Yeah, um, there's other bits and pieces what aren't punk. There's a bit of rockabilly, a bit of... Um, oh heavy metal, um, bit of pop. And, as, and as, as Mika just said, you are living the dream. Yeah. Because you are living life to how you want to live it, not to how other people are telling you how to live it. No, no. I've got an open mind to anything. Um, I'm open to discussions about anything. Um... Ladies and gentlemen, just because we're old school bikers and old school punks, doesn't mean that we drink alcohol all of the time. Today we are drinking water, and water is good for you. So drink lots of water and be good for yourself. And I've had a couple of orange juices and all. <sighs> See, people reflect back when they were teenagers and what was going on when they were teenagers and look at it as a, as a better time. It wasn't really. I, I was happier when I got in my mid-twenties and thirties and I was when I was a teenager because there was nothing but harassment when I was young. When we was young, there was a lot of harassment and there was no jobs, there was no opportunities, there was no money. We got older, we got our own security and we can be what we want without having to explain to people what we really are. 
we are last of the old school. Dino being one of the old school punks, me being the son of a biker, and I've got this ambition that I should be riding motorbikes like my dad, because my dad is a biker, and he would like his son to ride beside him. So I think it's time that I got my bike license and started living to my capabilities. I want to be a biker just like my dad. And that is what I do do, what I can do. And do you see anything in that, Uncle Dean? Um, well, that's, that's nice riding motorcycles. It gives you freedom. You can go places where you can't go in a car. Um, it's nothing like the wind in your face on a motorcycle and the freedom of it. So you being one of the last of the old school punks, what do you think of modern punks compared to old school punks? Is there a difference between them? Oh, God, it's chalk and cheese. What do you mean? Um, the old era, the original punk, like the late 70s and 80s, early 80s, mid 80s, that was very much, fuck you, no nonsense. But, but young punks today, they're apologising for everything. Um, they haven't got the, um, the attitude, what, Sex Pistols inspired people to be like. Um, they're sort of always um, too apologetic, and um, it's hard to sum up really because they're not all the same. But um, they haven't got the same politically, politically correct about everything all the time. You see, um, and not upset anyone. See, the old punks used to upset people to get a reaction. Um, to challenge other people's ways of life and try to change things, you know, by provoking them into an argument and coming out with a debate about something. But um, that was very violent, though, in the 70s and 80s. There was a lot of football buggery and people used to go out punk bashing, gay bashing, jump out of cars, knock the living daylights out you for no reason. Um, it, was, it, it was a lot, like I say, more culture. You had mods, rockers, teddy boys, rockabillies, psychobillies, punks, gothics, skinheads, all kinds of cultures. And that made it a better environment, even though there was discussions and arguments between the cults. That was like youngsters had more feist in them and ambition and wanted to, to do something like start groups and do venues and things movements but now society's all tuned into wine bars and nightclubs where there's no live entertainment there's no community spirit a lot of it's down to the internet and game consoles people sort of are in, indoors all the time I mean, years ago, people never used to have mobiles, obviously, and phone boxes sometimes didn't work. You used to go to places, and you knew where people would be at a certain time, roughly, and you just hang out until they turned up. So, as we are saying, the last of the old school punks is you, because you was around when it originally came out. In the 1970s and the 1980s. I didn't actually like it when I first heard it in the, in 77. It took me a couple of years. Julie, I got into it. Julie, uh, Julie Boyington said, remind him the cup, the cups. Oh, the cups, God. What are the cups? That's the cups pub. That was the alternative pub in town where all the bikers, punks, scoffics... Um, where, it, was, where was the cups? Tell me about the cups. It's a clothes shop now. It's Trinity Square. Um, Thank put, you, Julie. Put railings up around the graveyard near the library in '86 to stop people drinking beer and bottles of cider and that. And um, oh, well, it's been shut for a good ten years now, I should imagine. But I think there's a website for the cups now, and the people who used to drink in there over a period of time go on that site and that and talk to each other. I haven't been on it myself, but a couple of my mates have and that. But that was a good pub. Did you used to remember going in the cups? Yeah, I used to go in there sometimes. If I never had no work on a Friday, I'd go in there at 
Friday lunch and I'd come home Sunday night. I'd just stay around people's mates and that in town. Judy just said it was a brilliant place. Yeah, there was, you know, you got a little bit of trouble now and again, but that was, everyone knew each other, you see. Yeah. And there was a mixture of cultures in there. Um, there was hippies as well, all kind of people. What wasn't into regular popular music. They had an alternative life. Is there, is there places similar to that today? Anything similar at all? No, not in this town there isn't. No? There is a bit more in Ipswich and I think Chelmsford probably. Yes. Really, you have to be in London. You can have any style of music you want every night of the week. You know? Um, it, Judy said you go to Brewers now. Yes, I do. You like Brewers? Um, yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's an old, good old fashioned sort of like spit sawdust pub. You know. So you, we are the last of the old school punks and bikers. So have you got anything to say to the old school punks, Uncle Dean? Keep going. Keep on. Keep shining on. Keep the spirit going. So as Uncle Dean says, keep shining on. That is what the old school punks say to the old school punks. And I am an old school biker son, and I want to be a new school biker son. Anyone with a different outlook on life from the reg regular run of the mill is always interesting, isn't it? We can only try our best to shine the light of what we do do, what we can do, people. And we better keep doing what we do do, otherwise how will they know what we don't do, people? If we don't know what we don't do, we don't know what we do do. How would they know what we don't do if we don't do what we do do? <laughs> we are last of the old school bikers, last of the old school punks. And me and Uncle Dean would just like to say that we like to shine on with you and me and all of you. Because Uncle Dean is one of the last old school punks ever. And I'm honoured to know him. And Uncle Dean is a great man. So there's my hand. There's my heart. And Uncle Dean, we love what you represent. And Uncle Dean, we love that you're an old school punk. Shine on. Peace and freedom and love. Peace, freedom and love. From an old school biker son to an old school punk. We wish you a great day every day and every night. And this is Danny Sluggett making vision to show that there is still old school punks around. And I love the way Uncle Dean puts on his messages. I'm having a punk day today. Uncle Dean punk. And I think that is awesome. Keep it up. I will. And I do love it when I see you being who you are. Well, I couldn't look at myself in the mirror if I wasn't honest and straight with myself and other people. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, our hair is a different colour to what it should be. I feel it in my fingers. I feel it in my toes. I'm not a punk haircut as well, am I? Look. Do you think? Dark blue. It's a punky bunk. That was brighter than that. Huh? That was brighter than that a while ago. Yeah, yours is getting a bit light too, isn't it? Yeah. That's because I ain't washed the soap out, what I put in there to make it spiky, and that goes all sort of, dulls the colour. It needs re-bleaching and colouring. And we need to shine on like Uncle Dean. We love you, Uncle Dean. Love and peace. Bye, everybody. Have a nice Uncle day. Golden. And this is Danny Sluggett making a film called Last of the Old School Punks. And there he is, Uncle Dean. And I'm last of the old school biker children. My dad was a biker ever since I was born. And I love you, Dad, Mum. And I love all of us, everybody. Shine on to all the bikers, all the punks. And shine on to everybody. No matter who you are, you are still someone. And you are still loved every day. And you are still loved every night. Never give up the dream. Because we do do what we don't do, what we can do, what we shall do, what we will do, what we're going to do, is what we do do, people. Shine on Uncle Dean. And all best Uncle Sean if he's listening. Uncle Sean, we love you. And we love all of the uncles. Because being who we are, we have many, many uncles, don't we? We do. What we can do, what we shall do, what we do do, people.